Australia aims to begin fast visa processing, as it has appointed new judges to help reduce backlogs effective Monday, August 5, 2024. This means that many obstacles that were holding applicants' visas are going to be removed and many crackdowns will be implemented to ensure fast visa processing. Hence in today's video, we will tell you everything about the new ways Australia wants to use to reduce visa backlogs and how they aim to process visas faster than before. So, if you are not already, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for upcoming updates. Now, without further delay, let's begin the video. Nine new federal judges will start work on Monday as part of a push to clear migration backlogs and stop bad actors gaming the legal system with spurious claims for protection. Attorney General Mark Dreyfus said the extra judges for the Federal Circuit and Family Court of Australia FCFCOA, to be announced on Monday would be spread across five registries Sydney, Parramatta, Melbourne, Brisbane and Adelaide. The new faces include two silks Philip Corbett, KC of Melbourne, and Hobart-based Kate Cuthbertson, SC and others who have served on national and state tribunals and commissions. The move is part of a $160 million funding boost for migration in the 2023-24 mid-year economic and fiscal outlook, which followed the 2023 report by former Victorian Police Commissioner Christine Nixon into exploitation of Australia's visa system. Ms Nixon said abhorrent crimes, such as sex trafficking, had remained partially hidden by seemingly higher law enforcement priorities such as illicit drugs, tobacco and unauthorized maritime arrivals. She also called for tougher checks on migration agents. Mr Dreyfus said the Nixon report found delays across the entire migration system were motivating bad actors to take advantage by lodging increasing numbers of non-genuine applications for protection. This has come at a cost to people in genuine need of protection and to the broader Australian community, Mr Dreyfus said. The appointment of these additional judges will help address the significant backlogs of migration and protection applications left by the previous government. Restore integrity to Australia's refugee protection system and help to break the business model of people who seek to exploit the system. In 2022-23, the FCFCOA's pending migration caseload of about 16,200 cases was larger than its pending final order family law caseload for the first time after a blitz on old family law cases. The court has more than 100 judges and is the first avenue for judicial review of decisions by the minister or a departmental delegate. Litigants usually lodge appeals to the Administrative Appeals Tribunal AAT, but cases can proceed directly to Division II of the FCFCOA, formerly the Federal Circuit Court. They can be further appealed to the Federal Court, Full Federal Court and the High Court. Migration cases comprise about 30% of the workload for those courts. The head of the FCFCOA, Chief Justice Will Alstegren, said in 2022 that inherent delays were encouraging review applications, regardless of the legal merits. There are a number of different tiers for review or appeal and time between hearings, Chief Justice Alstegren said. People who go through the system can face significant delay and uncertainty, and it can be years before they finalize their case. The new judges are Philip Corbett, KC, Barrister Amanda Coulthard, Kate Cuthbertson, SC, Aaron Gerard, a senior lawyer at the Australian Government Solicitor, Val Gostinik. A Deputy President of the Fair Work Commission since 2013, Barrister Sheila Corbains, Bernard McCabe, a Deputy President at the AAT since 2016. Solicitor and AAT member Peter Papadopoulos, and Rania Skaroz, a member of Migration and Refugee Tribunals since 2011. The government also appointed three new judges on Friday to Division 1 of the FCFCOA, the Old Family Court. They are South Australian Barrister Mark Anderson, ACT Barrister Juliet Behrens, and Elizabeth Boyle, who has been a circuit court judge since 2016. Mr Dreyfus said all the judges were assessed by an advisory panel following an open call for expressions of interest. We hope this information was helpful to you all. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for upcoming updates.